Hi everyone, just a quick market update for you on Dubai. I'll keep this very short, just for anyone that's interested in keeping on the Dubai property market, it's because I've seen lots of interest and news relating relating to the property market, saying market's crashing, uh, oil prices have killed the whole of Dubai, um, oversaturation, people leaving Dubai, blah, 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 blah. I've seen a lot of negative talks. I thought I'd give you a quick uh, update from Allsop and Allsop's point of view. Uh, and this is a reality check, I suppose, for anyone who is interested. Um, so our first two months, we are up around 26% on revenue. Uh, we're up about 30% on applicant registrations with the same marketing budget. Um, there are a lot of deals happening. There's uh, a lot of resales and people moving into homes. The biggest trend that we're seeing, which I said at the end of last year, was people are moving into properties that were tenants and they're rebuying on. Um, or they are selling their property and rebuying on. So there's a lot of, um, I suppose, circulation in the property market. People are living in the market uh, in the in Dubai. So that's um, a standard trend. I suppose that's where our market is really. We like dealing with end users because they like to sell at a normal price and buy at a normal price. Not like an investor who wants to sell really high and buy really cheap and then pay no commission. So they're not my type of client. However, talking about investments, uh, we don't really do too much in the off off plan market we're not the biggest uh, agency out there with off plan definitely not attempting to be at the moment uh, but i went to the emar sales center about a week ago because we did uh, quite a substantial transaction in dubai hills which is our next real area we're going to get into um and like i said we did a very nice deal there one thing that was noted is that the sales center was absolutely booming um and I know that a lot of launches have happened, specifically uh, Arabian Ranch's uh, three townhouses at 1.2 million, uh, sold out the first phase. And I don't think this is a marketing ploy. I genuinely believe there is appetite there. Um, and I've seen that firsthand with agents, not from our company, sitting with uh, their clients reserving these new launches that are not going to be built in two or three years. So as much as there's a lot of doom and gloom out there, you're speaking to an estate agent that literally moves people into homes. And I can tell you that buyers are registering, uh, buyer and transactions for our company is up. Off-plan launches are selling and they're selling well. And I wish I took a video of what was actually going on. Uh, my final thought on everything is that Dubai is not leveraged on a lot of companies that are looking for the Chinese. A lot of people seem to think the Chinese is the answer. Um, and Chinese falls up and also definitely is the answer because I don't speak Chinese, which is not a great start. Um, but secondly, I think as much as the Chinese and the Russian and the English and they're all spending money in Dubai, I think the future of Dubai, uh, and I've said this many times, is all about servicing the end user, the tenant turning to a buyer and buyer turning into a seller, seller facilitating to buy back on. So um, it's very healthy out there. I mean, no matter what you read, you speak to someone first hand and you can feel free to ask me any questions you want about the Dubai property market. I will definitely get back and answer on uh, the public uh, comments and if you ask any questions. But to summarize, people are buying, people are selling, people are listing their property. Price are definitely quite a substantially a lot lower uh, than they were three years ago. Uh, but that's part and parcel of owning in Dubai. Uh, you are on the roller coaster, but whatever goes down does come up. So we're in for a few good years, but yeah, it's an active market. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.